So what we want to do is put the, equip these things with really tools and equipment that allow them to make some really cool things. Yeah. Things like 3D printers to make anything out of plastic. Um, right, brand new right now are laser cutters that actually fit on the desk that allow you to cut, yeah. cut um, wood up to a half inch thick, um, engrave if you want to. Um, uh, cutters that will cut paper in any shape, cardboard in any shape, um, embroidery machines uh, to make your own patches, make different things, sewing machines to uh, be able to stitch stuff together, um, uh, drawers with motors and wires and different things that if they have a project that they want to learn a little bit about electricity or put something electric on their project that they could do. So really trying to give um, things that, to make them be able to do stuff at a higher level. Yeah. So who will be able to use the Makerspace and when? Well, one of the things that we would like to do is that our, our tech classes that would be, during the day, would be, have access to this equipment. So that would be, um, for example, our wood tech, my steam classes, my computer science classes, um, the art classes at the other end of the building, the sewing classes. Um, also, other people during the day that might have projects. So if somebody's in a, in a science class and they are trying to build a, a model of a digestive system that they could put it on their, their thumb drive and come down and print it out on the, on the 3D printer. Um, but also to have spaces of time after school, kind of regular hours, so that a student could say, hey, you know what, I have this project due um, in my Eastern Hemisphere, I would like to make, you know, a model of the pyramids. Let me do that, and I, I you know what, I'll go into the maker space on Thursday, I can do that. Or someone that says, man, I really want to know how this, uh, you know, how this Raspberry Pi works, or something like that. What's Raspberry? It's, a, pro like it's a little programmable um, computer. It's really, really oh, tiny. Oh, I thought you meant, like, Pi. <laughs> Not Pi. No, no. But to give them um, a chance and a spe space to, to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, why are you trying to get the equipment needed for a makerspace now? Why not earlier or later? Well, there's a couple reasons why we want to do this. One, um, the makerspaces are already in the elementary school, and those kids are coming in. You are coming into the middle yeah. school. And we want to make sure that we can build on the experiences that you've had. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that we, these, uh, the equipment that we're after is finally to the point where it's cheap enough that we can afford it, mm -hmm. it's user friendly enough that I can teach an 11, 12, 13, 14 year old how to do it and they can use it independently and safely. Um, and it, the other push right now is that um, right now people can't afford this or it might not be um, in their house to be able to yeah. use it. So middle school is the time to explore.